to guys. So I want to say intranet and internet, not extranet. Just for uh, our understanding. Same, uh, we write like this. This is a small network. So, for example, I have a server in my network. It is a, it is a something like, think like it is a web server. Hello. Web server in my network. Hello. Yeah, tell me. Sir, can I leave? Sir, actually, I have an appointment with the doctor. Sohan, okay, no problem. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you, sir. Okay, I have a normal computer in my network, like a PC A is there. Okay. Uh, PC B. So something like we can connect. We use that uh, things so later and we get one. So just uh, do not think we are connected to wire, but just uh, I'm giving this for a switch. Just full devices kind of stuff I'm telling. So try to understand. Hub switches. Not only server guys, if you are communicating within the network, so within your a LAN network. Okay. So you are communicating from one device to another device within your private network or within your LAN network. So that is called a intranet. That is called a your intranet. So this is my LAN. This is my simple LAN network. Simple LAN network. Okay, so I am communicating from my PCB to server A. Yeah. I'm communicating means I want to access a web page, my server from PCB to server A. It means intranet. Okay. Or I'm communicating from PCB to PCC intranet within the network you are communicating means it is a intranet okay it is a concept is intranet so intranet means it's your private network you are communicating in your private network whether from one device to another device or devices to server kind of stuff. So that is an intranet. Guys understand what is intranet? Yes, sir. I have a normally we are all using a Google.com, right? So same thing. Google.com is a, just a site name, but Google.com from where we are getting this data google.com data from google.com server www.google.com server google.com is a domain name www.google.com is a total server name fqdm or gmail.com yahoo mail.com okay youtube.com www.youtube.com okay www.facebook.com so we are getting a data from there that is it is nothing but a, a certain server which located in some different place not in your local network anyway okay 
it is somewhere located not in your location google server located in some different place how to access this google.com it is not in your location you have to access through you have to access through internet you have to access through internet only you have to connect it to internet you have to connect to the internet then only we can able to access the cloud symbol represent the internet guys okay cloud symbol represent an internet it's a random zero or maybe it is a cloud symbol uh, it's represent a internet okay so don't think it is we have to go to aws cloud or azure cloud no 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 it is it's a symbol represent internet okay so how to connect it to this internet so we need to take a internet connectivity who will give internet connectivity internet service provider airtel jio u broadband okay hathway these are all internet service providers so you have to get a internet from internet service provider how you are connecting to isp how you connect to an isp using a device called a modem okay just i am giving an idea of a devices guys of course uh, we have to discuss about uh, these devices if in case any other chance uh, we will uh, this will also covers like suddenly you want to learn things like this is also help you to understand what is uh, that devices uh, like a pre pre knowledge kind of stuff okay so we have to use a modem to connect to isp using a telephone cable or a fiber optical cables we are connecting to isp so isp connect make a connection to internet yes we make a make you to connect to internet isp so then you will get a internet up to modem this connection for a internet purpose once you are connected to isp so then isp will give you internet and you will receive up to modem and your internet is at modem side up to here it is a single device or a only one uh, internet part means you can connect it to one device but we have a multiple device and we have our own network here so this is our own lan network then we, how we can route between this network to our network how to connect this local network to our outside network so that is through the router and we are connecting to route this router and router connected to modem modem connected to isp so then isp will allow you to connect it to internet okay uh, in a, it is not in a space i'll try Okay, now it is little visibility is there. Just to go with this one also. This is also we should uh, put it in a uh, bold letters. Supporting is okay for this. Okay, so. 
how we are connecting that is important now. So for example, the PCA want to connect it to this google.com. So packet will send to the your hub and switches, hub and switches to router, okay, router to the modem and modem to your ISP. And ISP send a packets to outside and there is a several routers because google.com not is near to your Okay, so a lot as so finally it will reach us to google.com. So it will we have to try at least two, three times, then only we can do it. Okay, router, router to modem, modem to ISP, ISP to the main internet contains several routers, then we'll reach google.com. Uh, why, 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 why it is? What has happened to that? Okay. So we'll stop here. Then ISP will forward your package to your through multiple routers and what is happening? Okay, finally it reaches Google.com. So guys, this is your LAN network. If you see, when I want to communicate outside of this network, I have to go through the this device, right? So through this interface, I have to go. Okay. I have to go. So that we call it as a default gateway. Default gateway. So guys. So when we are communicating outside of your network, you have to go through a default gateway. Outside of your network, you have to go through default gateway. The default gateway IP address, sorry, the interface IP address, we call it as a default gateway IP address. So in network, we are using hub, switches, routers, modems. So to get connected to internet, for simple LAN communication, hub and switches are enough to communicate between different networks. Okay, we need a router to connect it to our internet, then we need a modem. Okay, to communicate outside of our network, you have to go through the default gateway. Okay, of course, this is a wide connectivity, and where is the wireless connectivity is also available. So if you want, I will add that one. So can we add that one? Yes, we can add. Think like this. So here I, I will going to remove this one because I need some connectivity. Okay, think like this is my wireless access point this is a device called a wireless access point you know, have you seen any time wi-fi okay it is it's a kind of stuff so if you have a wireless devices for example you have a mobile so you can connect it through wireless only you cannot connect it to through wide devices right either you have a laptop for example so you can connect with a wired or a wireless also. I have a laptop, so we connect with a laptop. Okay. 
Okay, so we should not uh, give this kind of symbols. Yeah, we can give. No problem. But we have to change this thing. What is this? Select it. To give some dots. Symbolic representation of wireless connectivity. Okay, guys. So this is. Uh, of course, this is connected to our uh, default gateway. Of course, you have to communicate outside, right? You have to connect it through this one or you have to connect it to this switch. Either one you can connect. OK. I'm connecting like this just for our understanding. So this is we are connecting. Whatever it is, guys, it is wide connectivity or wireless connectivity. So this is the main wireless connectivity. OK. So this we call it as a WLAN. We know LAN. What is a WLAN? Wireless LAN. You connect a wireless devices in a, your own private network and you are communicating. So that is a your WLAN, wireless LAN network it is. Whatever it is, whatever it is, it's a wide network or wireless network. Before we have a wide and wireless kind of separation, but all this network is nothing but a, a single kind of network only. It's a local network. This is how we are using network. OK. Wireless connectivity. This is we have a name. Called a ESO HO. HO, small home, small office, home office. Okay, this is comes under concept called a small office, home office. How we are connected to the internet? Guys, understand anything? Some part? Yes, sir, understand. Default gateway. And why it is already copy paste? You can do it. Intranet and internet. So here it is. What is the default gateway? So when you are communicating outside of your network, you have to go through default gateway. When we require to communicate outside of a network, we have to send a packets through default gateway. The router is also act like a default gateway. The default gateway IP address is. Default gateway IP address is. Your, of course, your router IP address, which is the interface connected to your router, that is your default gateway. Yes, this is we can under we can try like if some people get it out, sir. I don't have any modem. I don't have any router. I have a Wi-Fi. Then how we are connecting? I don't have a switch. I don't have a wireless access point, but still we are able to get communicate because of guys your one single Wi-Fi router having a these many facilities. It act like a modem built in modem connectivity is there it is a built-in modem is there inside and built-in router what is the router it connects to different net two or more different networks modem makes you connected to isp okay next one 
what is this? There is a having a small uh, switch kind of stuff. Okay, it is a there is a, a switch is connected. Why am I unable to type switch? Or we can say that is a hub. Generally, it is a switch for connecting wide connectivity. You can see the modern backside. There is a wired LAN connectivity purpose is also there, and it is also wireless access point. Wireless access point. That is wireless access point. It connects the wireless devices. To connect a wireless devices, we need a wireless access point. So your Wi-Fi router is one part of Wi-Fi router is modem and it is also router and it is a, your a switch or hub and access point. And your Wi-Fi also act like a default gateway. Act like a default gateway. Actually, there is a separate default gateway. Devices are there. Um, default gateway is also a concept. What is the concept? I should go to some place. Then uh, which way? That is like default gateway. Um, there is so much other story is also there. I mean, and act like a DHCP server and a regular DNS server also. Local DNS server. Not originally DNS server, it is simple a local DNS server purpose because it does not contain any records. Okay, yes, this is your Wi Fi router. So you may may not see all the components I have written in this one, but you can see you have a, you know the Wi Fi router. We connected to Wi Fi router, then we can able to get connected to internet and you got an IP address, you can able to open a any site with an IP address because of your modem, your Wi-Fi router, you act like a modem which connect internet, router which connect between different networks. You can connect through wire uh, LAN connectivity using hub or switch on the Wi-Fi router. You can connect through wirelessly using wireless access point inside, built inside. You can communicate outside of your network through the default gateway of okay through your router as a default gateway and we are getting you are getting an ip address from your wi-fi router only because it act like a dhcp server and when you are communicating outside of uh, when you are communicating to uh, different websites with the names okay how because of your wi-fi router act like a dns server so this is your soho Intranet, internet. Why I left extranet? So if you don't get this point, you don't get understand of extranet. Extranet is two organizations, different locations. Both are having their own private. But if you connect this private network to another private network, so that is an extranet. And or maybe um, external space like private connectivity, you establish private connectivity. Yeah, I, I just like to say like NIC media uh, and uh, networking devices. Actually, that is uh, I will follow the other. Maybe you got some idea now uh, about a networking devices, right? Anybody? Yes, sir. So I am continue with this networking devices. So it will make more simple to understand now. Guys, there is a several networking devices are there. So not only these devices, several devices we use in the network. And I'm giving only simple lines to understand what are the uh, networking devices, you know, just to a, a simple uh, reference type. Okay. First one, what is a hub? Hub is a, a LAN 
hub where we use a hub for LAN communication, small networks. It is not an intelligent device, so simple, small networks, it is so. Repeater, it repeats the signal. So, for example, you want to communicate longer distances, you need a repeater, so then it will repeat the signal. Okay, uh, current example is uh, Wi Fi extension. So, Wi Fi extender is there now. So, you are sitting in a long distance, means far from your uh, Wi Fi signal and you are not getting a signal or maybe very weak signal, then use a Wi-Fi extender to get a uh, full signal. Switches, switches also used in a LAN communication only guys, small and large networks and switch know how to understand MAC address. Next one is bridges, bridges actually not a, uh, considered as a devices, okay, always. It is a software based bridge between two networks, Okay, our bridge between uh, two NICs, we actually use the bridge connectivity. You know, example I want to tell, very simple example for a bridge. You got an internet through 4G data, right? You got an internet from 4G data and you are sharing uh, your 4G network from your mobile phone to others mobile phone or a laptop. For example, you don't have Wi-Fi network, what you do? You want to connect it, uh, internet to your laptop, so mobile phone, internet, right? So mobile phone 4G network, you will get it, right? So you, what you do actually, you are receiving internet from 4G and uh, you are distributing through your Wi-Fi built-in adapter, right? So that is you are bridging between two different networking interfaces, okay? That is a bridging concept actually. That's which as well, you know that one. Okay, there's a lot of bridging concepts. As you know, I told this. Router, router is used for both LAN and WAN communication. Okay, router is an inter-networking device which shows best path to reach the destination. Modem, modem is used for a, a connecting. A modem connects to internet through ISP. Okay, so you want to get to connect internet, which is outside of your network. So what you do? So use a modem to get a connected to internet. How you connect internet through ISP? First you have to reach ISP, and you should uh, verified by ISP. ISP based on your subscription, based on your subscription, it will they will connect to internet. Of course, how you connected to ISP guys through telephone cables and fiber optical cables. Recently, maybe you have seen the fiber optical cables. Most of the people are turned into fiber optical. One of the thing is Geo, Airtel also fiber optical cables only. This is a one word word guys, but I will uh, explain uh, each and one each and everything by elaborating like what is hub, what is switch, what is router, what is modem, what is repeater. So I will explain it again. So this is about a hub. Okay. So what are the uh, things I underline that is important? Okay, first of all, what is hub? Hub is a non-intelligent device. We use a hub in the
okay app is a non intelligent device it does not understand ip address or a mac address okay. hub uh, used for a uh, lan communication and hub is suitable for a uh, small and large networks hub comes under layer 1 device as per the osa layers okay just to not wise if you don't know what is osa layer no problem currently okay osa model is a, a networking model exactly say it is a networking model to understand how network is going on how network is function so then we use a osa model as a reference model to understand how network is communicating and to troubleshoot a network osa model is useful it contains a seven layers the uh, example for layer 1 is a physical layer sir layer 1 is a physical layer example device is hub okay so that is hub is a layer 1 device okay hub broadcast packets to everyone in the network hub broadcast the packets to everyone in the network again i'm trying but so so okay so what we can able to do and that too we don't get a colors in this one so even we have a colors that is uh, night uh, border colors are difficult we don't need these many but check okay. Hub is suitable for small networks, but I have taken a very big network. Six is okay. Six, five, four, five, six, up to eight is okay because hub maximum port number is eight port number only. Okay. So this is a centralized device called a hub. Okay. Hub each and hub having a port numbers one, two, three, four, five, six. So what is this? This is a hub. This is A P C B. Okay, each one is sending like. So what will happen here? So for example, it's if A P C is A device send a packet to B. So what will happen? So packet sent to port number one. Port number one. Okay, packet sent to port number one. So A to B packet. First packet is sent to port number one. Okay, and uh, uh, port number one of hub. Hub. Don't know. Where. Here B is connected. Here B is connected. Okay, so a broadcast packet to every device. Okay. This is what happens. Better. 
Papo Gás. And like that, it happens every time. Means happens every time. Meaning is A to B communication. The packet sent to A, B, C, D, E, F. B to D communication. The packet go to hub and the packet sent to C, A, D, F. Everyone will get a packet. Okay. So like that, it will happen. Okay, so that's the point of a hub, guys. So this is also a very important point. Do not ignore. Packets sent to everyone in the network. Uh, this is shared bandwidth. These are uh, not much required. So if I put this box in the down, I think it is better. That is, we can make it smaller, right? And we can put it in a corner. Okay. So this is, we call it as a single broadcast. And a single collision. Single broadcast domain, single collision domain. Okay. So number of collisions are high. Okay. Number of collisions are high. So packet data loss. So packet data loss. So that's why it is suitable for a small network. Guys, what are the things underlying? That is compulsory. Next one is repeater. What is a repeater? Repeat the signal so then we can able to send a signal to longer distances. Hobbies act like a repeater. Uh -huh, okay, we have a space. Can we try a little bit, little bit. Hub is act like a repeater sometimes. Okay, so so how this repeater hubs are look like? Uh, it's not in the PPT. Morning batch also in the networking, right? So almost all uh, the networking is completed. One or two things I missed, but. This is a switch. Yeah, they have a. This is a one example how uh, a repeater is look like. Next one is this is a Wi-Fi extender, guys. This is a Wi-Fi extender. Wi-Fi extender is used to connect. Can we copy this one? Look at here, guys. This mobile is within the range, so it will get a signal. 
but this is mobile is having a out of range it is a out of range mobile so then obviously we can't able to get a signal from our wi-fi router so what to do so we are using a wi-fi extender to get a signal bigger okay so get a full strength signal we are trying to get it so that is a wi-fi extender Guys, understand what is hub? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Next one is switch. Actually, switch will take more time than any other devices to understand or uh, anything. OK, but still we'll try to give uh, proper information. Here it is. This is the better than that. Because notes, while I told notes, I will type on. So I don't have any energy. That's not at all good. Okay. Yeah. Everything came very good. I don't want to become lazy, but today. I'm doing everything in lazy manner. Yes, this is a repeater such as such is a intelligent device, which is a intelligent device. OK. Switch understand MAC address. Switch understand MAC address. Switch used for a LAN communication. Switch is a layer two device as per voice layer. Layer two is a data link layer, so that is switch comes under data link layer device. Switch works for both small and large networks. Switch works for a both small and a large networks. Number of devices we can able to connect in the switch. Okay, which we can able to connect number of uh, devices. It maintains a MAC address table. Okay, switch maintain the MAC address table. Again, guys, what is a switch? Intelligent device hub is non-intelligent device. Switches can understand MAC address. Hub don't understand MAC address and IP address also. Switch and hub both are for LAN communication. Switch is layer two device. Hub is a layer one device. Okay, that is a layer one is physical layer, layer two is a data link layer. Switch use it for both small network and large network. Large network means large number of devices are connected to each other. So in that kind of stuff, switch is suitable, not hub. Hub is only suitable for a small kind of networks only. Okay, so you have to read like that guys compulsory. That's why I'm telling even if I'm taking time, but just um, um, make sure that is you should uh, get the point. Not only understanding guys the how we should learn that is we should understand. Large number of devices can able to connect. Maintain MAC address table. Switch maintain the MAC address table. Hardware address something is MAC address table. Okay. Okay. So. Switch is a single broadcast domain and it is a multi collision domain. Number of collisions are become less as compared to hub, so less packet data less. Switch works based on the floating and unicast. Switch cut through switches, store and forward switches, type of switches are there. In switches, there is a manageable switches, non manageable switches also there. I said the switch is a layer two device, but which is a layer two device. Here it is layer three, which is also available. Layer three search is act like a both switch and router. Means layer three switches 
function as a switch as well as a router. So where you need a routing as well as a switching, that there we will use L3 switches. Like a inter VLAN routing, BTP configurations, we use a L3 switches. This is went to some place. Come, come. So not a transparent one. If it is a transparent, then uh, we can put into any place. This is a switch anyway. My switch is here. Up to here. Okay. Don't. Okay. Guys, what is this matter? Why I skipped uh, uh, to tell guys? Because the underlying one is first important. This is the next uh, important. Switch initially broadcast the packets to every device in the network. Larger unicast packets, sorry, later unicast pa packet using MAC. Like uh, you know, hub. How, how hub is works? In a hub, the devices, when their devices are sending a messages or maybe are communicating each other, so they have to send through the hub only, right? They have to send through the hub. What hub will do? Hub don't know where is the destination. Hub don't know where is the destination. So what it will do? It broadcasts everyone in the network. That is the point. Guys, understand up to here. Hub. Now it comes yes, to sir. Yes, sir. Okay. The switch initially broadcast. What is initially broadcast? See, this is the port number one. For example, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like the port numbers are there. Okay. Now a want to send a packet to B. Okay. You want to send a packet to B. How what will happen? A send packet to the switch. Which port it is connected? Port number one. Port number one. Next. Where is B? B is located at this port number three. But switch don't know where is the B. Okay, guys understand while you are sending a packet while you are sending a packet so while you are sending a packet you will send your source ip address source mac address destination ip address and destination mac address in your packet you have a your source ip address source mac address destination ip address destination mac address so yes ip address Yes, MAC address, B's IP address, and B's MAC address, or a broadcast address, MAC broadcast address, okay? So what happened? While you are sending a packet like this, what happened? So switch is trying to understand where is the B's MAC address is connected. So you don't know what it will do, it broadcasts to everyone, like a hub, it broadcasts to everyone. And uh, everyone will get a packet and drop the packet because there are not a destination, so they will drop the packet. This is what happens at hub, but same thing happens at switch also. But switch is not like that. Switch is a different kind of stuff. Switches can understand MAC address table. So I'm writing a, a MAC address table. MAC address table is a map of 
This is a simple map. Uh, I will write here map of a MAC address and a port number. Means which device, which device, which port number it is connected between. In this case, in this case, A, A's MAC address is connected to port number one. That's it. That is not down that information and remaining now. Now, for example, B is sorry, uh, or maybe C is try to communicate it to D. C packets sent to the switch. So what happened? C's MAC address it maps immediately C's MAC address uh, and it is connected to port number five and it will broadcast to everyone because where is a D switch don't know because you can see in the MAC address table also does not contain D's information. Okay. Now, just another example to understand, guys. Um, e want to send a packet to A. E want to send a packet to A. And E is sending packet to here. E send a packet to this four port number. So it will note down, switch note down E's MAC address and port number is connected to four. And to whom it is has to send A. Where is A's MAC address? Here. And the packet will send to directly port number one. Now it is not broadcasting. Why not broadcasting? The destination destination MAC address is in the MAC address table and it is pointed to a port number. So directly it will go to that port number only, port only. Okay, so using this MAC address table, we can do unicast. So switch initially broadcast the packets to every device like a hub, but later once it is created a MAC address table, using a MAC address table, it unicast the packet. Somewhat understand, guys? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. Same thing I've written here, guys. So luckily we have a picture and all, so that's why I explained with that one. So switch initially broadcast packet to every device in the network, later unicast packets using MAC address table. Here it is an example. PCA send a packet to PCB. PCA send a packet to PCB. Uh, like a while PCA packet send to a switch port number one. Switch does not know where it is, where is uh, sent to switch port number one. Switch do not know where, where the PCB is. So it sends a packet to everyone, to every device which is connected like it was C to D and also B. Switch learn MAC address of PCA, that is uh, example MAC address is A1. So switch maps A1 to port number so that, uh, so like that switch learn the MAC address of devices maps to the respect to port numbers called a MAC address table. So while devices are communicating each other through the search, Switch understand what is the device and what is the port number and it will create a, a table that is called a MAC address table. Here it is once MAC address table is created, for example, PCD want to communicate it to PCA. So PCD send a packet to port number 8 to the switch. The switch will check the destination MAC address which is A1. And A1 is located at a switch port number one. The packet is forward to port number one. So PCA A1 will get a packet. Okay. 
this is what I am trying to. Say. Just we need a uh, one pull. One line that is good. That is good. This is good. Yeah, there's no space, but still uh, it is good. OK. So such is a single broadcast domain and multi collision domain and uh, multi collision means the port wise collisions will occur not a domain wise. Again guys such is a intelligent device it understand MAC address not IP address MAC address. We use such in a LAN communication layer two device used for small and large networks such use a MAC address table to Oh, unicast the packets to the respective devices. Initially, it is broadcast the packets. Once it is created a MAC address table using MAC address table, it unicast the packets. So, how it will create a MAC address table? Uh, don't go. So, uh, I'm in a question to answer. Somewhere. That is already yes. There are two more devices, guys. I'm not going with the bridges. Two more devices that is one is half, another one is a switch. So, better I uh, will take it from here. You know, this is not at all good, like we should not uh, copy things from this. To type it. So that's why I'm writing in the notes. Otherwise, I can able to explain in PPT. People become lazy every day. Guys, again, it is a router. The router is an intelligent device. Router is an intelligent device. Okay. It works with the logical addressing, like an IP address kind of stuff. A router is an inter-networking device. Uh, just the morning only I told. That's why I'm telling these devices. Router is not morning. Just before only I told. Router is an inter-networking device. What is inter-networking device? It make a communication between different networks. What is inter-networking? Communication between different networks. What is inter-networking device? It, the device which is used to make a communication between different networks. Okay. Connected to our more networks. It is used to connect to our more networks. Okay, used for a LAN and WAN communication. So, uh, YS layer, layer 3 device, network layer. Okay, so that's the point. Man is not uh, copied. Let's see. Yes, this is an, uh, one network. This is another network. The router is there to make a connecting these things. Again, guys, switch and router. Switch and router, both are intelligent device. Switch understand MAC address. Router understand logical addressing. Switch is for a use for a single network. Okay, using a LAN communication. A router is, is actually connecting to our more networks which is to create a single network, but router is connecting these networks. LAN and WAN communications. Router uses for a LAN and WAN communication, which is LAN communication only. Switch is a layer two device. Router is a layer three device. Guys, understanding how to put a differences. Now only yes, sir, yes, sir. Okay. So compulsory while reading, read like a differences wise also. First read what is what, then put in a differences manner also. Then only you can able to speak uh, at the time of interview suddenly. What is the difference between switch and router? Okay. So I'm telling you uh, all direct points, no? So please. We are saying router, but it is not router, guys. It is router, root. The word came from root. Root means path. 
but okay so so it will take time to go to sir um, one second guys just read uh, i will go to sar room and uh, just maybe he needed some help only one minute i will be back Yeah, just uh, back, okay. Guys, it is a uh, router. Okay. Router is a, uh, where, where are we? Uh, we are here, root path. Router shows best path to reach the destination. Best path to reach the destination. Router use routing tables to know how to reach the destination. Like, uh, what is this routing tables or a routing tables? It will tell you how to reach the destination. Okay, these routing tables are created either manually or automatically. If you create a, a routing table, means if routing table is created manually, that we call it as a static routing. If routing table is created by routing protocols, that is called a dynamic routing. Okay, so these are the dynamic routing protocols. Okay, RIP, EIGRP, and OSPF. Once again, guys, what is the router? Router is an intelligent device. That is not valid point, but we should add a point. Add point, valid point, difference is there. Intelligent, non-intelligent, not main points, but still adding a point. Router is a logical addressing. Guys, when you are telling an answer also, don't give more patches and don't say blah 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 kind of stuff also around this intelligent device it's a local address using it don't say like that and okay. give okay, sir. small spaces only <laughs> okay just a comma type only not a full stop uh, router is intelligent device and wait sir is okay then uh, a logical address don't say like that okay so practice by practice you will tell how i'm telling simple <laughs> okay because uh, my, mine is different. Um, even if I go to interview, guys, I'm also feel shivering. So that's a simple point. Only thing is practice. So feel like you are sitting in front of interior. You have to keep telling. Like you are telling an answer. You try to give an answer. Then your fear will become a normal. I, I'm not saying your fear, nervousness will go on. Because of it's become normal, everyday type. Like the first time you practice by skill. After 10 days, you become a perfect. Okay, yeah, don't put in that kind of symbols. Okay, now while I'm internet, uh, uh, yeah, internet is so router is a internet working device. It understand logical addressing means IP address. So router connects to our more different networks. Router used in both LAN and WAN communications. Okay. Router means router. Okay. This is not your Wi Fi router, not Wi Fi router. I'm not talking. It's a router concept only. Okay. So it is a, a layer three device. Root means path. 
route error will show best path to reach the destination. Okay, router use different type of routing tables, which either it is given manually or automatically. Okay, guys, here it is. I try to show the people two things. So one is ping command, another one is uh, uh, um, trace RT command. So first of all, I will show you the ping command to you, guys. This is the ping command. Go to the command prompt. If you don't know how to go to the command prompt, you can in a run, you can put it. Otherwise, go to search button, CMD, command prompt. Type CMD, then go to command prompt. Ping. I'm pinging to google.com because you don't know anything about IP address part. So I'm pinging to google.com. What is this pinging part, guys? I'm trying to ping to the google.com. So this is my google.com. And all communications by IP address, that is the formula, guys. You should communicate with the IP address only. So this is the one I'm trying to ping, but I got IP address of google.com server. I got a IP address of google.com server. Okay, how I got the IP address of google.com server from DNS server. Who is giving this IP address to me? DNS server. DNS server. Yeah, Windows plus R. So DNS. Have a name, but I need a IP address. So the DNS server will give you IP address of your remote device. It's like Google.com, Facebook.com, YouTube.com. We are communicating, but we don't know their IP address. We are getting an IP address from DNS server. Next, I'm getting reply from destination machine. I'm getting reply from destination machine. Just try to understand. Reply from destination machine means this is my PC. There is a certain remote PC. You are sending a echo request. This is called a echo request. We use ICMP protocol to communicate. I will tell you what is protocol kind of stuff. This is ICMP protocol. Okay, so this A send a packet to B using ping command ping to B. Okay, so B's IP address, not B, B's IP address. ICMP protocol, the, the, while communicating A to B, it will tell it is a ICMP protocol. B understand what type of communication it is. It is a ping type of communication. Ping type of communication. The request is echo request. It will send echo request. B received a packet and uh, reply back with the echo response. Echo response. So don't worry. You send a packet, destination receive, destination will send back that same packet to you. So that's why. So I reach a destination and destination give me a packet. So that is I got a reply from destination IP address. It means ping is successful. Ping is a test command to make sure you can able to reach the destination or not. Okay, so source to destination, destination to source, communication is there or not. Again, what is a tray? Uh, what is a ping command, guys? Ping command is a test command to test the network communication between two devices. You can say that are two networks, two devices. Next, ping will tell you can you able to reach the destination or not. Next command is trace RT. google.com okay trace rt google.com can you get it so what it is google, trace rt will tell you how you reach the destination how you reach the destination 
that is trace artist telling you how you reach the destination guys from my pc to my router my router to isp isp to their certain routers and finally i will reach the destination because the google.com facebook.com youtube.com not in my network right it is somewhere in the network somewhere in the global network so i have to reach to that server how can i reach i have to cross from my system to my router my router to isp then isp to some other routers and there is so many routers in between finally i will reach it but who will tell you how to reach this destination who is going to tell you how to reach this destination there is several paths to reach the destination who is telling this how to reach the destination routers these ip addresses all routers ip addresses not a server ip addresses guys these ip addresses are belongs to different routers in the network in a public network so that's why ping tell you can you reach the destination ping is a test command to test the connectivity between two devices ping use icmp protocols and a query request to issue this reply. so this is the ping reply okay and this is the trace rt trace rt will tell you how you reach the how you reach the destination okay how you reach the destination this is trace rt so finally i reach the destination guys understand ping and trace rt and router yes sir sir uh, sir little bit confusion in previous page uh, uh, before fetching those ip codes um, i think uh, how many lines we have to type before automatically fetching these ip codes this one yes yeah, sir yes sir yeah no 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 just uh, oh yeah yes sir this one this one this is a command we are given okay this is the display i got it okay so sir we just have to give this command the upper line no? that's that's it that's it okay and after that it automatically fetch these all uh, ip address no. because it has to travel from you right so from your to your router router to your isp isp to some other router some other router some other router finally it will reach the destination it is telling entire path how you reach the destination okay sir like train stops you can tell example <laughs> you will reach some place right and then place then place like these are the stops in between it's not stops exactly say it is the path will be changes like junctions good good yes okay the last device is a modem modulator and demodulator what is a modem modulator and demodulator so in your lan communication you have a different uh, modem kind of stuffs are there right so in lan communication uh, you are using a regular uh, uh, utp stp cables your lan the entire lan the data signals are in the digital uh, type of signals okay low level frequency signal it is so we cannot send these signals to outside of your network for wan connectivity or a internet connectivity okay so we cannot connect we can't send these data signals to outside okay so we are connecting to isp to get a internet right we are connecting to isp to get internet but isp is not near to you you have to send your data to isp then isp will send the data to internet okay so this wiring is a different signal is required long distance traveling like a using telephone cable or a fiber optical cables we have to need it so what we are using we are using a modem to connect to isp and to connect to internet so this is a 
while we are using the model modulator and demodulator okay and maybe you can may not seen any wi-fi router kind of stuff so you can see this is this is a separation this is the modem fiber optical modem connected to wi-fi router the wi-fi router is from wi-fi router we are getting internet or we'll combine like this see this is the uh, nokia uh, usually used by airtel fiber optical internet fiber connection so this is a nokia okay can you see this the back side cable is fiber optical cable and uh, this is a lan cable and it is a wi-fi router itself means one router having a multiple things Now, this part already I explained. This part you already know. Okay. Yes. Not another. Can you ask another? Just two minutes. Just two minutes. Mangalam. Yes. This is right. So modem, modulator, and demodulator. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. 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 Okay. Yes so that's the point okay yes sir let's go so we'll tomorrow we'll uh, see the remaining part also okay no okay, sir sir you are telling me yes sir sir uh, please mark my attendance also sir i am not able to join at 3 pm okay near by right Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you.